everyone, so today I am doing a makeup tutorial obviously and this is I guess like a summary bronzy kind of makeup tutorial. A subscriber actually requested me to do this look uh, so yeah I just wanted to film this look for that subscriber. Pretty much it's not something that I would wear to like in summertime wear to the beach or something like that. No, I typically don't wear any makeup if I go to the beach which, but if you do want to see like a makeup tutorial for summer that you can use with the most minimal amount of products and it's not going to like sweat off your face then let me know because that's a completely different look. I feel like I'm Jacqueline here. Um, but yes that is a completely different look. This is a look that even though it is using like quite minimal amount of products in my opinion it may not be for some of you and if you want to see like the absolute necessities when it comes to summer like makeup then please let me know because I don't mind doing another one of these. Um, I am thinking about doing like a hair summer hair tutorial for you as well so let me know if you want to see that and also I want to know if you want to see an updated skincare routine video because I'm really happy with the way my skin's looking right now. It is not like I have absolutely not one breakout on my face right now but I have a lot of scars like a lot and I've I've been using a couple new things and yeah just let me know if you want an updated skincare routine video because I can certainly do that for you and also this tutorial I should have mentioned this in the beginning but this tutorial I'm actually not doing a voiceover I'm going to be talking you through it as I am doing it which is something I have never done on my channel I think I've done it once for like a chat with me while I get ready kind of video um, and I really quite like that and I think there are a lot more laid back and you can take your time and explain what you're doing and why you're doing what you're using and for what reasons whereas in a voiceover you're going as fast as your footage is edited so if you film like this little bit of doing your eyeshadow then that's how fast you've got to talk you know what I mean so I don't mind honestly whether doing a voiceover or whether doing it like this I think this way would be more beneficial to you guys but you have to let me know whether I annoy you throughout the video by talking, 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 or whether you prefer that, or whether you'd rather just me stick to the point and you can see what I'm doing while there's a voiceover guiding you. So let me know about that. And yes, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much to the subscriber that actually requested this for me. You are so, so sweet. And um, thanks so much for the support. And I really enjoy comments and feedback and you know we have that communication i really quite enjoy that so yes if you can keep it going leave any video requests that you may have for me in the description bar below this video or even um inbox me and i will actually link makeup geeks um website down below because most of the products i'm using are from there so i will link link their website below so please check it out they have amazing amazing products so yes Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting off by using NYX's eyeshadow base and skin tone. I pretty much use this for every single tutorial. If you don't have super like oily skin or eyelids like I do, then you could skip this and just do like a concealer or something like that. But I do have pretty oily eyelids and oily skin in general. Ooh, they're making a lot of noise. This is why I don't do talk through tutorials but we'll see how we go with this one so you just want to apply this all over the like from the lid all the way up to the brow and with whatever's left over just bring it underneath the lower lash line then I am going to work out of my makeup geek palette and I'm going to start off with this shade right here which is called peach smoothie and I gave my brushes a clean yesterday so they all brand new and that's why I'm excited to film so I'm just going to dunk my brush in there like that, tap off the excess and use this as my transition shade. So I'm going to start off by just putting it here and then just go round and round and round all the way from outer corner to inner corner. This isn't really going to be that dominant in this look but it is an important step I think when you're going to be blending. Then I am going to take this shade right here, which is called Chickadee. It's like a mustard 
orange kind of shade which seems a little bit like intimidating but it's actually so so beautiful i'm going to take that on a little crease brush like this and i'm going to apply it just right in the crease it's right in there go back and forth back and forth as much on the inner corner as the outer corner and then with whatever's left over just go round circular motions just all over the eyelid like that probably looks a little bit scary right now and a bit orangey but trust me once we have the other shades on it is beautiful then before we move on i'm going to go back in with that big fat fluffy brush and just blend over the edges just to make sure that we haven't overdone it with the orange then i'm taking this shade right here which is called cosmopolitan it's a beautiful kind of rose gold pinky shade which I think is perfect for what we're going for, really. And I'm going to take that on a little flat shader brush like that. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Just pack it on. That's why I'm using a flat shader brush because it packs on colour like no other brush would. Then I'm going to take the shade Shimmer Shimmer. And we're going to use this for two reasons. I'm going to start off firstly by taking another flat shader brush and I'm just going to use this to highlight underneath my brow bone so we're using it for two different purposes so that is one of them and I love doing it with this because you can honestly you can do so much with this with this eyeshadow then with that same brush I'm going to pick up that shade again and put this just on the center of my eyelid it's not going to do much but it's just literally going to just add a little pop and bring more attention to the eye. So just with the raised part of the eyeball, just like that. And that is it. So then I'm going to move on to doing my face and we will come back to the eyes. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation in the shade 140, which is golden beige. Um, if you don't want something as heavy or as full coverage as this because it is kind of for summertime, you can go ahead and use something like a BB cream and this is my favourite, it's from Garnier, but I recently got this and I just want that effect today. So I'm just taking like one and a bit of it because you really don't need that much with the coverage that this gives. And I'm going to use a Makeup Geek Foundation stippling brush to stickle this all over my face and this is just a perfect perfect shade left on the back of my hand I will just take it on like the same brush and just pat it over my really problematic areas which is typically my cheeks you can see that I'm not really worrying about my under eye area too much and I'm not going to because I'm going to be using a concealer under there for the concealer underneath my eyes I'm going to be using the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade number one which is light and I'm just going to do strokes underneath my eyes like that. And then I'm going to take a Makeup Geek um, angled stippling brush and just stipple this on basically. I'm taking it all the way back to my temples and bringing it back in the inner corner and just going out and then coming back in. And then going back out, I feel like I'm in Finding Nemo or something. The whole point of like going out and coming back in is to prevent creasing. So if you do it in this motion, it will prevent creasing. So I'm going to be using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder, which is the same foundation brush that I use. Just picking up a little bit at a time and just very, very lightly putting some powder on my face, mainly under the eyes and the inner part, and then working it back up because. The inner part of my face is where I find I get most oily, so that's why I want to put it in there and then fade it out slowly. 
to use the Palladio Brow Pencil in the shade Brown. And I'm going to brush out my brows first. And then I'm going to take the other end of it, which is a pencil, and I'm just going to fill them in, but very, very lightly. I've not been into the whole thick brows like I was a little while ago, so just very lightly. I mainly focus on the outer part of the brow, like by the tail, but the rest I'm very, very light-handed, and that is all I do. Then I'll brush them through, I just brush them through with the spoolie again, just to make them a little bit more natural. I'm using the e.l.f. Um, like clear mascara and just using this to keep them in place and this is a really really nice brow gel actually did i say mascara before because well technically you can use it for both purposes i'm just using it for this then i'm going to take the shade cosmopolitan again on just a little angled brush like that and i'm going to put this on my lower lash line that you connect that as well then with the same brush I'm going to take shimmer shimmer and just put it just right on the inner corner there just for a little extra pop and then I am going to take just an eyelash curler curl my lashes I find that even this little step oh by the way I'm just like pulsing it and I find that's the best way to get them curled so as you can see hopefully you can see a difference in that honestly I was never a big believer in curling my lashes because I feel like it made them look like shorter but I obviously was wrong. Two types of mascara I'm going to use the Falsies by Maybelline and the Telescopic by L'Oreal. So I'm going to start off as a base with the Falsies. Then I go over with one coat of the L'Oreal Telescopic. And go back with one more coat of the Falsies. I'm going to do the same thing to my lower lashes with a falsie. I'm going to start off with bronzing my face and I'm using W7 the bronzer. I'm taking that on the Makeup Geek rounded blush brush. I'm just putting that in the hollows of my cheeks but I'm not really trying to contour that much. That's why I'm going in such big motions like this because I want it like more bronzy and not too, you know, contoured and structured and perfect. Then I'm going to take the <coughs> MAC Margin Blush, the Makeup Geek uh, Face Buffer Brush, I think this is just perfect for blush, and I'm just going to start off by patting it. I just like to pat my brush, my blush instead of like rubbing it on, and I'm just doing a very, very light wash of this, just patting it, starting from the temples and bringing it down. The next product I'm going to use, this is actually a sample from Laura Mercier that my cousin got me. It is the Primer Bronze Radiance, which looks like that. Um, if you do not have this, you can also use the NYX Liquid Illuminator in number two, which is called Gleam. So what I'm going to do is take a cheek highlighter brush. This is from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to use the slightest amount on there. And I'm literally just patting this where I would do a highlight. And it is a cream product, so it is going to look much more natural. Go over with your blush brush again and just apply some of it on. I haven't applied any more blush on this. It's just whatever is left over, I'm just using that. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be using the MAC lipstick in the shade Speed Dial, and it's just a really, really pretty warm toned pink. I'm going to 
is the Kardashian Beauty Orange Blossom Honey little lip gloss that came. It is like a really bright, like corally shade. So that is it for the lips and that is pretty much the final look. So I'll zoom you into the eyes and everything so you can see properly. Really nice and very warm toned for sure but they're really really just very very natural. I guess just like perfect perfect for summer and I mean you could do liner if you wanted to but that's really up to you. So yes, that is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I hope it is what that subscriber asked me to do. Um, as soon as she like told me this is what she wanted, this is what I saw in my head. So I hope it is what you were picturing and I hope you like it. So please let me know what you think about these type of talk through kind of tutorials rather than me doing a voiceover because um, I honestly don't mind either, but it's really up to you, whatever you find easier and how I explain things. Whether I explain it better on voiceover, whether I explain it better like this step by step as I'm doing it. So please let me know about that and also let me know about my updated skincare routine video if you want to see that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye!